Yo, welcome to the second part of my house tour. I said I was gonna do this video and we're here 14 months later. So I bought this house in May of last year, gave you guys a house tour of what was then an empty shell. And now 12 months, well 14 months later, we got a lot of changes. So come on in. Hobbs, you around? Hobbs, come here. I never know what he's doing back there. So I had some help on this house. Kristen Brooksby from Kristen Brooksby Design. Her and Kayla were my designers on this and to be honest, they absolutely killed it. So I was kind of hesitant. I've never actually had a designer in my house, but I'm like, yo, I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna hopefully, you know, maybe one day raise a family in here. Definitely a dog child who is so lazy. You guys will see him in a second. But first thing, when you walk in, you guys notice the chandelier. This is different than what we had before. It was that white one, um, the chandelier. I think that needs to go. Yeah, crazy difference in that. So like the change out we did there, more, I don't know, I'd say like a rustic vibe. All the ceilings in this part of the house are 14 feet, which means I can't even touch the top of them. The doors are eight feet, high enough to where it causes some unique problems actually. It's a good thing because they're so big, but like my hat rack, I can't put it on my doors. The flooring, you guys saw last time, herringbone pattern, super cool. The house was built three and a half, four years ago. So I'm the second owner and it is 4,100 square feet and five bedrooms. So basically they kind of sent me over things. It's like, yes, I love that. The artwork in the house. Some of my favorite pieces, they did such a good job. Steve McQueen just exudes coolness. Maybe it's because his name's Steve. I don't know what you guys think, but this, this photo just old school. I don't even know if that's from a movie or a photo shoot, but I love it. Next up, got the big old round mirror. I dig this round mirror. I'm just checking it out, making sure the gym shark's looking good, making sure the hair is looking good, coming in, coming out, whatever you're doing, it's good to go. Pretty much from the time I graduated high school, I moved every single year. So from like Idaho, California, to Pocatello, to St. George, I, I moved every single year for 14 years. So to kind of have a place that you call home, that's your baby, that you love everything about it, it's, it's good for the mojo. It's good to come home to after a long, like I just got home from actually from England, so it feels good. Um, this thing, I don't even know where that's from. I'm gonna link Kristen Brixby. So you guys have questions on any of this stuff, you guys can hit them up because all of it was done by them. These two pieces of artwork are super cool. I don't know what it is, but I just love those. It's the colors, the pastels in there. So the house, I'll definitely say it's like modern farmhousey. What I did is I saved a bunch of pictures from my Instagram, just from the internet. And then basically I was like, hey, find stuff that you know has this vibe, and they did. But one of my favorite things about this house is actually the layout of it. The outside I wasn't crazy enthusiastic about when I saw it. But then I came inside, I'm like, oh damn. The outside and the inside don't really mix and match very well in my opinion, or don't match very well. But one of the favorite things I love is as soon as you open the front door, you can see out to the back and the back of this house, we'll get there in a minute because we have big changes there. But it's one of my favorite things, the layout is just killer. So from walking in, you can either go straight to the kitchen, to the living room, to the back of the house, to the master bedroom, or you can go down the hallway, or if you take an immediate left when you walk in the door, you're in our offices where all the magic happens. Usually they say that for the bedroom, but all the magic happens. Now we're in the office. Like I said, this is where all the magic happens. So Alec, myself, Dan, and my assistant will all be meeting in here talking about the day schedule, coming up with content. These are real things that we just started doing like last week. So I'm super excited. We actually put this couch in here. This is like my very first couch. I had this couch and I literally have just dragged it everywhere with me. I had it in LA and then Idaho and then here and it sat in a storage unit for a while. I was like, oh yeah, I have a couch in a storage unit. Where should I put it? Let's put it in the office. So you have the herringbone floors and you have the same pattern on the wall. So it's kind of fun. I love music. We usually listen to music in here. And that's just a vibe to me. It's just like an old record player, an old like FM AM stereo. Like it's just, it's so cool. They're very, it's just a moody. I like black and white photos too. So um, decorators again, pick those out. And I was like, yes, love those. We'll typically have somebody on the couch hanging out. This is usually my desk. It's got my grandparents on there. I got, got a grenade cause sometimes I just blow shit up. Like metaphorically speaking, we all wear masks metaphorically speaking. What's that from? And then I have the shredder. 
which is one of my favorite things to do to relieve some stress is just shred things. You need space for all like old cameras, you know, cords. All the traveling I do, I never bring adapters. So I just have literally like 25 adapters down there. That's pathetic. Stuff for GoPro. Then over here, this is where Alec will sit or Dan will sit and just kind of more of the same. Alec's actually in Greece. So he has the A7R3. Um, we're filming on one, but we have the drone. We have lenses. GoPro just sent us a bunch of stuff. And then this, this is the whiteboard. So we'll talk about like videos on here maybe, or we'll talk right now. We're trying to set a schedule, trying to be big into scheduling the day out because I do so much better when I am following a schedule. Like when I was the most productive I was in life, I was living in St. George, going to college, I lived at my grandparents' house. I was taking 16 credits, finishing the degree, prepping for the muscle and fitness male model search, and then also working at Texas Roadhouse. So it was like two workouts a day, class all day. So it was just crazy. I was so productive because every hour of the day, I knew exactly what I was doing. So we're trying to do that right now with this. Hobbs has his own little bed here as well. Speak. Speaking of Hobbs, 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 you want a treat? It's the only way to get a dude to come in here. You want a treat? We're doing a house tour. Come be part of the family. I never know what's done in there. All right, let's go see what he's doing. I don't think he's in here anymore, actually. He is, you little shit. Come here. Oh, you're such a little shit. You are such a little shit. You don't want to be part of this family anymore? I'm taking this off. You do not love dad. I heart dad. Apparently not. Do you even like your bed? Do you not like your bed? Lay in your bed. You love it. You love it. <laughs> the last cool thing about this office is this. This whole wall is basically glass. If this hallway didn't have that glass paneling coming through, it'd be so dark and gloomy in here and I would never want to come in here. I'd just be like, oh, this is a depressing hallway. I'd call it my England hallway because the sun would never see it. <laughs> Little inside joke. Not really. The sun doesn't shine in England. We're gonna go down to the guest bedrooms and moving this way before we get to the rest of the house, which is that way. All right, this is it. Alex's room. So when I first bought the house, there was, this is the room I was gonna make my Gymshark room. And there was polka dots on this wall. Now it's just a basic room. Alex does pretty well, actually. This was in our office, and we moved it in here, and he's got some plants. They're real because he's Australian and vegan, so he's gotta be like, oh, they need to be real plants. No fake plants for me. And I'm like, whatever, dude, do your thing. Fake or real, I like both. All right, from Alex's room, you then have the guest bedroom or the cactus room. This is a lovely room. This is probably only the 10th time I've been to this room. This is where the guests stay. Probably the most girly room in the house. We got the little cactus in the corner, which I don't think needs water. It is real. I have grabbed it before. But my sister, shout out to my little sister, she actually decorated this room. This was the bed I had in California. These pillows are from I have no idea, but the reason it's a cactus room is obviously we have the cactus there, cactus is on the wall, and then decorated with a little pillow. The cool thing is, if I was small enough, maybe Alec could do it. He has one of these in his room, and it goes all the way through, so you could essentially get from Alec's room to this room. Creepy? You guys decide. All of my guest bedrooms and offices have iPhone chargers, because I hate when I go to someone's house and there's not an iPhone charger in there. Also, each room has candles, because I'm really, I'm so particular on smell. This one, this one smells like Thanksgiving though. It says give thanks. I'm actually not a big fan of that one, so we're just gonna leave that. Some cute little books to, to read for your guests to be like, oh, Steve's so thoughtful. Maybe they're sad they're not at home. So what they could do is they could read books and be like, oh, I'm really glad to see Steve. Last thing in this room is the closet. This is just where I keep all of my douche bags. This is the douchebag closet. This is the douchiest room in the house, except for my bedroom. But yeah, it's just got my douchebags in here. I travel with them, I switch it up. Sometimes it's camo, sometimes it's the black and red. Sometimes I take the Steve Cook douchebag with the big bastard. So everyone's got a room. If you travel a lot, you store all your luggage in. And I'd rather store it inside than in my garage where 
There could be all sorts of cockroaches and spiders that get into it. Guest bathroom, nothing too fancy in here. I'm a big fan of like, throughout the house, they use the same colors and knobs. Um, big mirror, gotta change some lights in here, but very like female friendly too. Very white, and Alec doesn't wear shoes ever, so it's really hard to keep this white. I have to wash this like once a week because his dirty feet are on there all the time. I love you, buddy. You're a hell of a videographer, but your feet are dirty. And then, shower. Let's get some, I don't know what that is. All right, we're just gonna leave that and uh, we're gonna go check out the next room. This is probably one of the most important rooms in the house. This is my shoe room slash Gymshark room. Now, when I first got the house, I told you guys that I was gonna have a Gymshark and shoe room, and guess what? I got it. So I can come in here, go through my Gymshark stuff. As you can see, I kinda got a thing for shoes. If I had to pick a favorite pair, like a top three, this would be in my top three. My turbo green Jordans that I'm wearing right now would be in my top three. I don't know, maybe my off-whites. I don't know, it's like choosing kids. I have one of seven kids, so I maybe had like three pairs of shoes, and one of those was my basketball shoes, so it's like, I kind of gone hog wild with it, but at the same time, I take good care of them. These actually just came today. How fun are these? Should we wear these for the rest of the tour? So my buddy works at Ultra. We're actually gonna be dropping a fitness culture Ultra shoe, but these are these are kind of fire. I might go run in these later on today. We got our Gymshark stuff. Gymshark sends me a lot of things. These actually are probably their two newest hoodies. They have their camo shirts and hoodies right now. One of my favorite collections. Inside the closet, we just got more Gymshark, all the sweatshirts, sweatpants, the shorts. That is the Steve Cook Gymshark collab. This is still probably one of my favorite shirts. So that was a collab I gotta do. Hopefully, I get to do season two sometime in the next six months. We're working on it right now. I can't show you guys, can't tell you guys too many things, but it was a really fun collab. We did this about a year and a half ago in Melbourne, Australia it was the pop-up. A lot of fun, so I just kind of have one of everything. And then I have some extra stuff for when people come over. I'm like, hey, you want something that says my name on it? I promise it's not weird. I kind of feel weird wearing something that says my name. Is that weird? Like maybe a stranger's gonna come up to me and be like, hey, Steve, and he sees it on my shirt. I was talking to your mom and she said to jump in my car and I can give you a ride home from school today. Never talk to strangers. And then last in my shoe room, I just have some awards that, to be honest, I don't even know what they're from. Like trophies and things, I don't really like displaying those. I do like displaying hats and shoes. So I don't have trophies, I have hats and shoes. This is the bathroom and, and shower that the guests use that they don't want to share with Alec, because he has dirty feet. But nothing, nothing too special in there. Again, the biggest thing I like in here, I never had round mirrors in my life before. Round mirrors will change your life. They just, they just, they make you feel happy. It's just like an infinity. There's no like sharp edges on it. It makes me feel good when I see a round mirror. Shower in here as well. And then we go at the end of the hall into the TV room. I told you guys last time, we're gonna have a big old couch that I'm getting from my buddy Sean Lowe from his furniture company. It's just this massive giant one piece. Boom, we got this couch, super comfy. Watched a lot of Game of Thrones episodes. I'm just over here putting out the vibe. Watched a lot of Game of Thrones episodes on this, and this piece of art is actually probably my favorite piece of art in the entire house. I don't know what it is, but I just like that it's black and white. It's provocative. It gets the people going. And then besides that, we have a rug in here that Hobbs absolutely loves to pee on, so I have to keep all the doors to this. Well, he did when he was a puppy. I think he's better now. And then this sliding barn door with the glass panels in there. I'm always afraid this is gonna break. So far, so good, but I really like how the colors on this wood is different to any wood in the entire house. So I walked in and I was like, damn, the inside of this house is so much cooler than the outside, but we're working on the outside. We're getting it there. So this is where we come. We got the curved TV. Curved TV is important because there's so much natural sunlight that comes into this room that there's a lot of glare on it. So I try to get the curved TV and minimize the glare. Got a little fake plant in here. Alex probably really pissed about. And then blankets. One of those is Hobbs. One of those is a Denver Bronco blanket. Go Denver Broncos. Uh, this next part is actually what sold me on the house. I came into the kitchen, living room area, and I was like, yes, I love it. Even for being like a four years old, the lady did a really good job who built the house, who like decorated and like did all the layout um, of making it like just really 
easy. The good flow in here. So you can come from that room to the kitchen, which is cool if you're entertaining or watching movies, snacks and stuff are here. You can come from the hallway by the coat closet, boom, straight into the kitchen. That's how Alec would come into the kitchen. And then the front door, straight from the front, boom, right into the kitchen or from the garage and the master bedroom. So that's why like the, this is the center focus of the house. Everyone does like super white cabinets right now. It's a cool look, but I like the fact that this is a change up and still look good. So you got the granite countertops with like this dark bluish gray almost. And then the gold fixtures on things. One of my favorite things about this kitchen is the secret pantry. So from outside, it's just like, oh, these are just some more cupboards. Nope, boom, come in here. Pantry. It's actually a pretty big pantry too. You guys can come in here. You guys don't need to be scared. So it's decent. It's a decent sized pantry. One day it's gonna be full of like little grimy kids' food. No, it won't, because I'm gonna eat it. I guarantee you if, if I have a bunch of like naughty food in here, I eat it. So my kids are gonna have to eat what I eat. Sorry. So I think I've probably cooked in this maybe five, five to ten times. Why? I got trifecta food. So uh, a lot of my food prep is just done. Like their salmon, trifecta makes things a lot easier. I'm gonna link them actually in the description in this video. This side of the fridge is kind of pretty barren. Like I got my coffee. Every morning I make my coffee here. Um, I got egg whites, I got eggs, I got some protein, some nice meal prep stuff. Guacamole, and then my favorite snack in the world, G2G bars. I don't really like bars. In the fitness industry at Expos, sampling bars, most of them have like sugar alcohols and all these awful artificial sweeteners and preservatives. And what happens is by the time you get done with a whole bar, you feel like you need to go to the bathroom and you do. So these G2G bars, uh, I stumbled across them. I was intrigued because you have to keep them in the fridge because they're all like whole food. There are no preservatives. Um, they're naturally flavored. So like, you know, rolled oats, there's, you know, there's just delicious bars. So I'm gonna actually link that in the description as well. Do drink some wine every now and then. I love that the wood all, all matches. Got the swear drawer because I'll be swearing. I'm not gonna lie, I swear a little bit. So there's a decent amount of change in there. We're gonna go to Disneyland one day with that. Uh, the countertop, probably where I sit the most to eat even sometimes to work. This is Hobbs seat. He has claimed that sheep rugs for himself. So we have this nice leather bench. I thought maybe if I put his crate and his toys in here, he'll enjoy like his crate more. He'll go in there and chill. Nope. What does he do? He jumps up on this. Do you know we're talking about you? Why do you always jump up on here? Is this your happy place? He's honestly, I have the most chill dog on the planet. He just literally does that. About to leave. Already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking. The room that I regret the most. I should have told the decorators I wanted like a big puffy couch and I should put like a TV over there because this room doesn't get used at all because A, this is a white couch and a white rug and with little nieces and dogs and things like that. I'm even afraid to sit on this couch, so I definitely don't let them get on the couch. Hobbs is not allowed in this setting in here. We have the double rug, so we have the white rug, and then the faux cow rug. It's actually not real cow, it's just an artificial rug. Um, and then we have the brown leather sofa with these pillows from, again, I don't know where any of the pillows are from in my house. And then this piece, actually, when they sent this to me, I'm like, oh, that looks manly, that looks so sick. It's gonna be right in front of the fireplace. And then this is more of like manly coasters. We got matches just in case I want to start a fire. Like I would ever need to do that. It's literally 110 degrees outside. This is a real Hawaiian lei. I can't remember what nut this is made from, but this is Harrison. Shout out to Harrison from Hawaii. He came to our fitness culture retreat here in St. George earlier this year. Ended up tipping his Polaris as well. But uh, he made that, so it's on display at my house here. We got the whole Laird Hamilton legend surf book. This is Hindsight and All the Things I Can't See in Front of Me by Justin Timberlake. I didn't actually know I had that book. This is one that the decorators got. How epic is that? I just opened up to Beyonce and Justin Timberlake. And then of course we have Canyon Wilderness in the Southwest. So we've been in this canyon, so it's really cool. I think the area that I live in here in Utah in the country, really close to Arizona, Utah, Nevada, it's probably one of the most striking landscapes in all of the world with you know antelope canyon 
the Grand Canyon, Zions National Park, Bryce Canyon. So if you guys ever get a chance to come to the gym, you definitely want to check those things out. Moving on, we got these olive green. When they showed me these, I was like, yeah, nah. Olive green? But they're like, no, it'll look good with the tans and the browns. And I'm really happy we went with them. Yeah, nobody really sits in these either. Again, this room is beautiful, but it's almost too nice. It's almost like that room you can't touch. I almost wish I had a, a big, like, fluffy couch that just everyone sat in and we played games in and I didn't care if it got dirty or not. The cool thing is everything opens up to the backyard and the pool. This is a real plant. I absolutely love this plant. Hopefully we're taking decent care of it. I'm starting to see it's starting to go brown a little bit, but from there you get the fireplace. Will you tell me if the fireplace turns on? How about now? Oh, got the fireplace. I think I've used this three times. One was like during Christmas, but then I went to Australia for all of January, so I never used it. I said the other one was my favorite piece of artwork, but this is my favorite thing on the wall in my entire house. And it's just a black and white picture of a cactus. It's a saguaro, and it is awesome. The ceiling, you have the 14 foot, then it drops down to 12 feet, super high ceiling still. And again, everything opens to the backyard. So between the TV room that we were in, that has a door from the backyard, the master bedroom, and then there's one, two, three doors that lead outside. So it's just a really good entertaining area. The lady before me actually used to have a disco ball in the middle and she used to push all the furniture and her and her kids would all do a disco stuff. So she's such a sweet lady. All right, so from the kitchen, living room area, we're gonna come master bedroom and then this is where you come in from the garage and it's kind of cool. We all have our cubbies. This one's mine. I got my gym bag right here. We're gonna do a whole separate video like what's in Steve's gym bag. Um, this is Hobbs Cubby. He's got a life jacket in here that he never wears. He never wears it when he should. He got a little backpack that we stick him in, some grooming products. Um, this one is Alex, I believe. And then my nieces. My nieces have their own little cubby here. So this is kind of a weird area and it's like a different little built-in office. I just use it as a bookshelf and kind of I don't know, what do, you, what do I even use it for? It's one of those things that just doesn't get used. Now we're in the laundry room, which is a thing of dreams because living in California for a while, like growing up in Idaho and then going to California, I was like, oh, I feel cramped, everything's so tight. So to come back from California to Utah and have like a laundry room that's almost as big as my first apartment in California is, is really something that makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> but got the washer and dryer. Um, I actually hang dry I'd say about half of my clothes, just because I think the more you dry things, the more just worn down they get faster. So Dana has done an amazing job folding all of these things. You got the beach towels. I don't know what moms in my neighborhood, I'm sure moms, or so many moms with like five kids, I'm sure they have cupboards that are just full of things. I got one dog and an Alec Baker. So from there, we're moving into the master bedroom. We got a little art, this wallpaper on the back. It actually looks really good. I was like, wait a minute, you guys are gonna do what? It used to drive me nuts that this was not centered, but it's not supposed to be. It's contemporary, that's what they told me. This is my master bedroom. Absolutely love this master bedroom. So again, got the door that opens up to the pool area. Um, kind of had this whole cow skin. I think it's bachelor-esque, it's manly, but it's not like, Tacky manly, it's not like leopard print sheets, like giggity giggity, but my bed is from Restoration Hardware along with the two side tables. Restoration Hardware is damn expensive. I'm not gonna even lie. I got it at the outlet store or at like the, the factory outlets or whatever, and it was still expensive. And I needed to have identical side tables. I can't handle when things are off. So it is a Eastern King. What's the difference? California King I think is longer, Eastern King is wider. So I have the wider one because Hobbs takes up the entire bed when I allow him in the bed and he snores. So I push him all the way over here. We got some nice little, little misting spray. It smells good. This is also from Restoration Hardware. It had this chip in it, but sad thing is, is I don't keep anything in the drawers. Well, there's two swimsuits in there, but they're not mine. Okay, so this is Hobbs' bed. He's got his little blanket. Every morning about five, he peeks his head over and wants to cuddle. But because he snores so bad, I literally have earplugs on the side of my bed. More candles, fake plant. This, this actually is really cool. It's called Amongst the Waves. It's a sea salt spray. It's vegan and animal friendly, but you can use it on your hair, on your body, or like just to freshen up things. So, gives my hair just a little bit of the wave 
you know, what do you think makes it stand up? Moving from the bedroom to the bathroom, I wish there was a door here, like another barn door. There's not. I guess if you're sharing a master bedroom with someone, you probably don't care if you're taking a bath in front of them. But anyhow, we got his, meaning mine, and then this side is also mine. But I don't use it actually, so just leaving it open. Got the candles. What do we got over here? Oh, bubble baths. We got some coconut oil. We got this thing. So if I do have a friend over here that wants to do their makeup, they can do it. So it's kind of nice. The shower, I'm OCD. I can't step on my white rug. We got two shower heads in here. It could be a party up in here. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Maybe I should throw one in the middle too, but that would just be overkill. Like, you see some showers that have like seven jets that are hitting you everywhere, so this is enough for me right now. It's a really good shower. I enjoy it. The bathtub, I, I literally probably take a bath once a month. I think it's, it's a good thing to get in, get relaxed. I got all those things over there that I've actually never used, like bubble bath, bombs, rain bath. This is my side. I got my laundry baskets out here. I just picked these up like a month ago, and I can't tell if I love them. So I have light, medium, and dark, um, but I don't know if that's the proper place for them. It's convenient for me, and all I know is I don't leave my laundry on the floor anymore, so it's a good thing. Aesop, I think that's how you say it. It's Australian. I try to surround myself with as many Australian things as possible because I just love it. Um, this is like a hydrating detangle mist. It's, it smells really good. It protects and hydrates, and I live in a desert, so. Um, some perfumes or colognes, actually. Joe Malone is asexual, so it can be get for guys and girls. My signature smell is saffron, and I mix it with a little wood sage and sea salt. If I'm going on a date, I don't really wear that. If I'm, if I'm just going about like traveling, going about my business, I wear that one. Isimiyaki, that's how you say it. I think it's French, probably not, I don't know. And then, bathroom, it's my office, and then my closet. This used to be a his and her side, now it's a his and his side, just like my vanity areas. This side's pretty much empty. I just have like my suits, suits and dress clothes. I just did hang up these, which it was really bothering me. I wanted this side to be absolutely empty and I put my sunglasses over here so I get all my movement sunnies. A lot of damn sunglasses. This is my giveaway drawer. So we pick winners and do giveaways. I got Pit Viper, No Pete, but mostly the movement ones on there. So good and then movement watches too. So these are all movement watches up here for giveaways. Um, I'm actually putting a little gift basket, a little goodie basket for my, my buddy who's his birthday. So get him hooked up some glasses, some jewelry, a sweatshirt or a jumper. Got the Louis Vuitton that was the, probably the dumbest purchase of my life, but we all have one of those. One of those things that probably wouldn't have done again, but you like it. So it's actually, it's a cool bag though. Like. You don't see this design, but you can see it's like, it's a different pattern. I bought that because my buddy had a Louis Vuitton bag and I was like, mm, I'm gonna show him, I'm gonna have a Louis Vuitton bag. Don't keep up with the Joneses. On this side, this is just more of my everyday wear stuff. I got some dress shoes on this side. So the other shoe closet was only like sneakers. These are my dress shoes. And then yeah, that's pretty much my bedroom. Got. Socks, yo, how legit is this sock drawer though? Like everything folded Maria Kondo style. All right, um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go show you guys outside right now. Moving from the inside, now to the outside. Hopefully we have footage of the before because the outside was crazy. It was just dirt. The pool was just a cement hole. There was no extended patio. So all of this patio here is new. Started with those columns and just stopped right there. So all of this is new all the way down. And then of course, did the landscaping. I wanted to just keep mostly grass open area for games, for dogs, family events out here. And then I extended the concrete because I wanted to have the opportunity to have like loungers out here. So all my patio pretty much, I think is from West Elm and it's nice. There was a hole in the ground already and there was concrete in it. So I didn't get to choose like the depth or the layout of it, but we got the hot tub. We got the little, I don't even know, shallow splash pad area. When I build my dream house, I will definitely have a pool 
twice the size with something that you can jump off of. We kind of did minimal with the landscaping one to keep like a natural vibe, but it has really good lighting at night. So at night is when you really are like, oh, this is dope. This is actually a table that I had inside my condo in California, but the chairs were cheap. The chairs, I think, were like 17 bucks each. So super duper cheap chairs. The couch, the rug, and this table, those were not cheap. Again, that's like West Elm stuff. It took me a year to get patio furniture. I actually had some stuff back here and then ended up sending it back. Don't judge me because my patio furniture still has plastic on it, okay? I don't want that to get ruined. I spent a lot of money on it. That plastic is gonna stay on there until I deem it's ready to come back, but it's fun. Oh, look at this dude. Look at this dude just lounging. Good thing you uh, you work so hard for that beach body in the wintertime, bud. He's bulking. Next up, the ping pong table. This is awesome. Awesome for just nights that we're playing games out here. So there are some lights, but you can see like I have it all hooked up for like a fan and like a main light there. I do have all of these lights, so we can hang out here, play ping pong at nighttime, but it'd be cool to have a fan, get it? It would be cool. One thing I did forget to show you guys, my Traeger. Now Traegers are different from grills in the way they cook the food. If you've never had meat cooked on a Traeger, oh, you're missing out. This is obviously the Ironwood 885 model. It's all electric in terms of you put pellets in here. I can then control it from Wi-Fi, so I can turn it off and turn it off from my phone. If you're looking to get a Traeger, that's the model I recommend because I had another one. This one is the newest one and it is insane. It's just a little outdoor entertaining area. We got the pool, we got the fireplace that I really haven't used a whole lot to be honest. This fireplace is too tall. I wish it was one block shorter. Funny story is we actually had different rocks in here. My landscaper, they put different rocks, but when they got hot, they would break and then explode. Nothing like sharp, fragmented rocks coming at you when you're sitting by the fireplace. If I'm gonna stay here, I wanna build an outdoor garage, like workout area. Like, so it would look like a garage, but on the inside it would be just all weights for like a home gym or like a basketball pickleball court. For those of you guys that don't know what pickleball is, go YouTube it right now, it's legit. One of my favorite parts about the house, and I told you guys this earlier, all the doors, so master bedroom, living room door, living room door, kitchen door, and then TV room door, all of them come outside. Honestly, the layout is perfect for like entertaining people and just having a good time. The last room that we haven't been into, boom. Little cardio, I got my Peloton, I got a foam roller, I got my Hypervolt. This Hypervolt is legit. A little freezer and then some bands and a TV. So this is where, you know, come stretch, definitely jump on that thing. I've done that, I probably average not as many workouts as I should on that. But when I'm home, probably two a week and they are absolutely butt kicking. Again, I don't know how many of you guys wanted to see this. If you did want to see this, make sure you like it and subscribe. And let me know, uh, again, these, these Thursday vlogs are more just like anything. So once a week, we're doing the workouts. Thursday, I just vlog whatever, hanging out with the fam. And then Sunday's a one take, so. And we do the one take probably twice a month. But anyhow, that's it. That's it from Casa del Cook, huh? We did it. We did it, we did the vlog today. Now we can go play.